So having taken the time to uh, pull these 18650 cells from, uh, from an old battery, what can we actually do with them? Well, here's one idea. This is a kit uh, from Banggood, which is a, uh, a power bank. So this is a very useful device for recharging your, your phone. Uh, especially if you don't have access to uh, to proper power, and it comes in a in a complete kit here with the the battery case and a nice uh, LCD display, buttons and other bits and bobs. So we can put this together uh, using the the recovered cells. These guys will just sit into into here, and I've kept them in there original pairs so all that uh, we need to do is to join these packs together using the the remains of the original tags and uh, we'll be good to go to uh, join it to the rest of the of the circuitry and uh, get this guy going so first of all we're just going to solder those cells together I've prepared the top of the cells using uh, a Dremel with a little sanding wheel on it so here and here to join the center and here for connecting to the uh, to the main circuit board um, what I'm also going to do is apply some flux this is the uh, flux that I'm using I'm sure you can find similar where you are and just a small dab on each contact Key to any successful soldering is uh, preparation and cleanliness. And obviously, with these types of cells, you don't want to spend too much time actually on the on the battery itself. And here's the the wire link. And essentially that's exactly the same as we're going to do on the on the other side for the negative lead. Final assembly pretty much done now. We've got the circuit board in in place. Uh, there's two screws supplied to, to hold that down. We've got a little torch assembly in that side and our on-off button. Um, on the front here, let's get rid of that. Uh, there is a little window supplied that simply sticks in there with a little bit of self-adhesive goo and we'll take the protective film off and similarly for the for the torch part the black adhesive there and the little lens So if we switch it on now, the batteries were fully charged, so that's that. Press the button, hold it in, goes off, press twice and we get the torch function. So all that pretty much remains is to Put the final cover on. There are two outputs on the device, uh, one up to 2.1 amps and one at 1 amp. And obviously the charging input. So if we just line those tabs up there. So time to test the uh, assembled unit. I've just plugged that cable into, uh, I think it's the 2 amp output. We plug that into the phone now. We can 
can see that uh, the battery indication comes on straight away at uh, 100% and we can see just about on my phone there that the charging symbol is uh, illuminated so it's it's charging also tells me down the bottom there the moment charging 91 percent so that is all good to charge the unit itself you just reverse this cable so you put that in the DC input getting it the right way around And then if we plug this end into uh, a charging port you can see it's 100% uh, it's difficult probably to see but you can see the input uh, just indicating that it's, it's charging and it's got the input connected there so a neat little project um, many people might say why bother you can buy these things dirt cheap on eBay um, but the reason that you can buy them dirt cheap on eBay is because the batteries inside are probably rubbish and uh, at least we know that we've taken the time to uh, to select and test our, our batteries. So a useful charger to have when you're out and about.